What is up guys? In this video series we're going to be going over how we can learn C++ and it's definitely a good language to learn if you're jumping into programming because it is a lot more complex than Python or Java. It's kind of like the base of these languages. So if you learn C++, you will essentially be good off in every other language. But uh, to get started you can see we have this very simple program that is going to take our name as an input and then it's going to print it out to the console. So if we go ahead and run the program, you're going to notice in the terminal, it's going to ask me to enter my name. And I'm just going to enter that. And then it's going to say, hello, my name. And if you run the program again, you can enter another name. You can even say James if you want. And it will say, hello, James. So that's going to be the first program that we're going to create in C++. And with that, I'm going to explain what all of this means. So one thing I want to specify is that we are going to be using Visual Studio Code for this. And to create a C++ file, you just have to click on C++ and then save this with the extension of .cpp. So we can say hello sample.cpp and save it somewhere that you can find it, of course. Then the editor for C++ will initialize. And I'm also going to go ahead and specify that I have a few extensions installed. If you go to the extensions tab, you'll find one that says C++, such as this one provided by Microsoft. I have also a compiler for compile running and a code runner. And these are just ones I have included. I'm not going to explain how to set this up. You're going to have to do your own research for that. But these are the things I'm using on my MacBook. But going back to our main file, as you can see, so far we have nothing. And the first thing we want to do is include a library, an IO stream. And this just helps us with inputs and outputs into the program. Then we want to create an int main that every single C++ program needs because this is where the program runs. It has a main function where you can actually put the code in and run it. So that's going to have an open pair of parentheses. And inside here, we're going to refer to a standard library, which is called STD. And with that, we want to first refer to string, which is a form of text. And we want to give it a name, which I'm just going to call username. And that's going to equal an empty string initially. And in C++, we need to always provide a semicolon after each statement because that will tell us that the line ended so the program can compile faster. Next, we're going to go ahead and still write std to take C out from the standard library. And this is going to provide us the possibility to print to the console. So with two left arrows and then the quotation marks, we're just going to type in enter your name and space. And remember the semicolon. We're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to type in C in. And this time, since we are inserting into the console, we can just type in the username that we have created and provide a semicolon. Finally, we're still going to refer to our standard library and type in C out. And here we're going to use something new, which is a escape. And as you can see, by doing backwards slash n, you're going to have a new line printed in the console. So this just makes it nicer to look at in case you want to have one line after the other. So we need that new line for this example, we're going to type in hello. And and in C++, the two arrows kind of act like a plus. So we can just add that we're going to say hello, username plus an exclamation mark with two backslashes. And also we want to return zero, which means the program has terminated and can exit out of this. Otherwise, it will just continue running endlessly. But now let's go ahead and save the program by doing control or command plus S. And we can just run it by doing command plus R if you have one of these packages installed. And as you can see, if you forget a semicolon, the program is nice enough to tell you you forgot it. We can go ahead and rerun the program and it's going to tell us to enter our name once again. So here we're going to go ahead and say this time Luigi and it's going to say hello Luigi. And to go back to what I was saying earlier, if we remove these escape slashes and first I will clear the console. But if we rerun the program now and we enter the name of Mario, you're going to notice it's going to stay all on one line and that just makes it a bit harder to read in some cases, but otherwise everything looks pretty good. So just as a personal preference, I would add maybe a backslash like that. So it can separate it from the next command. And this time we can put 
toad. So hello toad. And then you got some space and it will give you the next terminal line. And with that being done, we've created our very first program in C++. As you can see, it's fairly straightforward. You have to write a lot to do very little, but it's very fast. And that is the bonus of using C++. If you use Python, it's going to be very easy. All you have to do is type in print, blah, 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 and you'll have your answer but it is extremely slow compared to C++. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.